Wonder Woman is such an iconic character. And uh, how much did you know about her uh, before getting involved in this project? I really didn't. I watched uh, the TV show when I was a little kid. Um, and of course, at that time, I thought she's so cool. And she has a really cool bathing suit on. Um, but she, and she was stopping the bad in the world, you know? And this message, I think, is so great in, in that it's timely. And I think we need to enforce this message more, what this female superhero represents, which is about love and equality and justice. It's also um, a movie led by women, both in front and behind the camera. How did it feel for you to be a part of that? So great. So great. And to be a general of the Amazonian army, army come on. Couldn't ask for anything better. Who is this general? Um, what is she like? She was born to um, create fierce warriors in this community of Themyscira that that is a unisex nomadic tribe of women, right? And that's her job, is to make sure that her army is intact for the ensuing war that will come, because it's also mythological, where they sensed that the god of whoever would be returning to either annihilate or take over their land. How's the relationship of your character with, his, with her sister, who's the queen? Because mm. they're, 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 they're very different, these two sisters. Yes. Well, of course, she goes against her sister's wishes, which is, do not train my daughter. Um, it's too dangerous. And she says, well, that's exactly the point. We have to train her, or she won't be prepared for the worst. And uh, what's the relationship back like with your with her daughter? Because you are training her secretly. She looks up to you, right? Right. How is that? And how important do you think that her aunt is in her life? I mean, it always seems to be someone other than your mother or your father that is the mentor anyway. So I think it unfolds beautifully, where it's the wink, don't tell your mom. but And then she confesses, right? She's like, I had to do this. Please trust me. That's a very, that's a beautiful scene when the two sisters confront each other. And they both have a point, by the way. Mm -hmm. right? And you can, you can understand both sides. No one's right or wrong. It's just two ways of dealing with the same problem, right? Yeah, exactly. What, how was it like to shoot opposite mm -hmm. Connie Nielsen? I, I had known her years ago, personally. So w it wasn't, um, you know, first time on the set getting to know one another. That was nice. Many people may be surprised to see you in such a physical, um, badass role. Was that fun for you to do something different like that? Oh, completely. Yes. Come get paid doing a job where you get to get in the best shape of your life. Okay. Okay. I would love that. But I'm sure you must have gone through um, quite a preparation there. What, how did you prepare that role? All of us did uh, horseback riding training, weight training, and martial arts training. And all the battle scenes were choreographed. And we were all training together, over a hundred of us. How was that? It was amazing. It was like going away to girls camp. And what was the battle scene like to shoot? There's a really cool battle scene there on the beach that is very spectacular, both visually yeah. and, um, and in many other senses. What, what, what was that like to shoot? Well, we shot with, you know, not, not only Patty, but a, a second unit director who uh, did all the battle sequences for the movie 300. So he knows how to film a fight, is my point. I think Gal Gadot, I can't imagine anyone else in this role. But She's perfectly her. cast. She's great, because she is, she's strong, and she's so present, right? She's such a light, and she is willful, which this character is. Um, she's just the sweetie pie. She's great. Um, speaking of being a light, definitely the light that drives the whole project is Patty and her vision mm. for this story. You worked with some amazing filmmakers in, in your career, but what can you say specifically about Patty? She is the most 
inviting of all ideas across the board from any actor, um, any creative person, and a cheerleader at the same time. So she's like, yes, I have a vision and I want you to emulate this for me. And then when you give it to her, she is just elated. I've never really seen you in a, in a superhero movie like this before. Um, well, yeah, probably because <laughs> it's never, never happened before. <laughs> I, <now>. know. <laughs> yeah. I know, but um, I was wondering, this being your first experience, um, what, how do you look back at it now? That I got the opportunity to do that at this age is pretty great, pretty great. And, and it be supporting the theme of this movie, personally also, right? What it's about, what it represents. What does it represent for you? Because the, the, this is much more than just an action, cool movie. There's, there's some interesting messages here, and I think even today. But I would like to know your opinion. What, what, what spoke to you about it? Really what resonates about the character of Wonder Woman and why she exists is to make a better future for humankind. And that means eliminating war and hate. Uh, so it's about love and equality and justice um, for a better future in our world. And I think that's relative to today. Isn't it wonderful to throw out in such um, a devastating time period of humanity, like, like First World War, someone that is so pure? Mm. I wouldn't say naive because she, she can hold her own, but definitely pure. It's pure. It's, it's purity. Don't you think that contrast is beautiful? It is beautiful, and that's... We need more of that. I think people need to just keep remembering. Get back in touch with your purity, which is human... It's humanity. Reminders of that uh, all the time are good.